Good day and welcome back to another Deep Z Doka Metal video. So today I'd like to talk about 3 Dodge, uh, or well the concept of 3 Dodge and why it exists in Dokkan and essentially should you do it, should you not do it. Uh, so the concept of 3 Dodge exists because a very large Dokkan YouTuber named The Truth uh, created a meme whereby he gave three dodge to every unit uh, and essentially the reasoning behind that is so that every unit at least at some point does have a chance to dodge a somewhat fatal attack. Now before we talk about whether three dodge is an applicable theory let's first talk about the hidden potential system. So in the hidden potential system as you can see here uh, units have the ability to choose between additionals, crits, and three dodge, which I've put on my Kale uh, as an example. Uh, and so in existence, when units have these abilities, you get to make a choice. You get to choose between additional attacks, crit, and three dodge. Now, if we look at Kale, uh, whenever you choose additional or crit, you are gaining 2% per level. And this is consistent throughout the game. When you are choosing dodge, you are gaining 1% per level. Now, of course, uh, this means that essentially you're getting less bang for your buck with dodge. Uh, and generally, considering the meta of Dokkan, considering the difficulty of events, and considering the damage reduction that bosses have, the ability for your units to do more damage is more highly valuable in Dokkan considering the current meta gameplay. Of course, with the high levels of damage that bosses do do, having the ability to dodge cannot be underestimated. And we'll do a mathematical look just now as to why one might choose to dodge and what the effectiveness of that dodge is when you factor in the massive amounts of damage. Now, of course, the most important thing to factor in is whether three dodge should be something you do. Now, from my perspective, before we go into reasoning, maths, and all those sort of things, I do not advocate for three dodge. Uh, I just personally don't think it's that helpful. But if you do do three dodge, you are welcome to. Uh, however you build your units is your own. Uh, we'll just talk about when you shouldn't do three dodge later on in the video. But you are welcome to do it. If you believe it helps you, then it's more than fine. I have no problem with that. I have no issues with you having three dodge on your units. Unit builds in Dokkan, there are optimal builds. You can go onto Reddit. There's literally an APT or an attack optimal build. Literally every time a unit comes out, you are more than welcome to go and take those, apply them to your units, and then continue to live your life that way. It is more than fine. No one's going to judge you for that, and no one's going to judge you if you have a unit that has a little bit more additional than it should have, or a little bit more crit than it should have, or a little bit less crit, or if you stick three dodge on. With the equipment system now, you have a lot of variability in units, and there's no need to be that way. I do have a video about how to build units and what to factor in, and that will be in the description below. But now let's talk some maths. So for simplicity's sake, let us say a unit is attacking Gildo seven, six times. Each time that unit hits Gildo, it will do 20k damage, okay? Gildo has the ability to raise defense upon his super. So let's say after super, he's taking that 20k damage, right? If we were to shift his seven additional to dodge, he would have a 7% chance to dodge. And currently with his seven levels in additional, he has a 14% to additional and a 7% chance to additional super attack. So let's talk maths, all right? If you are facing six attacks from a unit and you have a 7% chance to dodge, you have the effectivity of a 0.42 of an attack. So essentially, if you were to average it out over the lifespan of a unit, that unit would always be dodging 0.42 of an attack. Now, if we take in a factor for the chance of a super attack, let us say that a enemy at any given time has roughly 15% chance of firing a super attack, and this is a set 
drop rate because units barring a couple gods of destructions do not fire more than one super attack in a turn unless they have special effects so in any given cer certain instance uh, we will take a look at that unit and we will have a 15 percent chance of firing a super attack Let's say that super attack does 120,000 damage. If we multiply the 0 0.2, 0 0.42 effective attacks by 20k, times it by an 85% chance probability of a normal attack, and then we take the 120k times it by 0 0.42, and then by the 15% probability of a super attack, we receive 7.14k effective defense against those six attacks if there is no super attack, if there is a super attack, we have 7.56k effective defense. The reason why that effective defense only occurs on either instance is because if your unit dodges the 0.42 effective super attack, he essentially doesn't have the ability to dodge the normal attack because the 0.4 instance has already occurred now if we look at a unit that raises his defense it's very simple let us say that the unit raises his defense by 20k this just makes the math simpler uh, it will always be bearing on numbers but we can just look at things very simply that unit has a seven percent chance because it's remember 14 percent for an additional attack but seven percent chance for an additional super he has a 7% chance of raising his defense by 20k. That 20k will become applicable to all 6 attacks. So if you take 7% by 20k, you get 1.4k. Multiply it by 6 and you receive an 8.4k effective defense. 8.4k compared to 7.14k for normal attack evasion and 7.56k for super attack evasion is obviously quite much better by 1k only so if the defense is only better by 1k on average there in that instance how much does it matter well so obviously there's two factors to involve one it depends on where the unit's attacks are landing should the unit be attacking before we have the chance to super the defense raising effects will not take place now of course that's not the only thing we need to take into account. When we give a unit a build over dodge, we're not just thinking about the defensive capabilities. Not every unit raises their defense on super, although most do nowadays, not every unit does. And of course, we do not account for where those attacks fall. Attacks that fall before the unit fires off their super attack will always be much better handled by evasion. Evasion also incurs no damage, uh, whereby defense mitigates damage. Uh, also, we don't factor in the efficiency and the efficacy of super attacks. For example, the more super attacks that occur and the more attacks that occur on a unit, the more effective the effective defense of a dodge is. If you have 10 attacks fired at you, it's more effective than the raising of defense depending on the volumes of damage so there's a lot of factors to go in but defensively there's a slight poignant chance when units have raising defense to rather go with additionals of course that's not factoring in the offensive capabilities if you take a 1.6 million super attack attack stat and then you push in through the effectivity so seven percent and you take the chance for crit which on gilda was 22 percent you can work out to it being an effective chance of a 151,000 or so effective attack damage. So essentially there's also the offensive abilities to factor in, but as you can see, there are certain factors that will push evasion to being a more effective solution. Now, when evasion is a more effective solution, and I'll give an example of this, is essentially whereby uh, I used that free-to-play Goku who already had an evasion chance uh, which propped from his passive. Evasion from hidden potential is not 
additive to evasion from passives, it procs on its own separate instance, but by filling his entire hidden potential system with evasion, I essentially gave him a secondary high enough chance to proc evasion, which helped me clear the easy A. But that was a very selective example using a very selective unit in essentially a very selective zone. The chance of a unit super attacking you and your evasion becoming more effective than any form of defense raising is 1.07%. So essentially there is very little reason to choose three dodge, especially with the way units are built nowadays. But why do we believe that we should build three dodge? Well, there's two factors that come into this. The first factor is recency bias. So anyone who has three dodge will immediately remember the most recent instance of three dodge occurring instead of remembering when three dodge did not occur. Recency bias is a cognitive bias that favors more recent events over anything that's happened in the past. It gives greater importance to those recent events. So whenever a unit effectively dodges, whenever we succeed a stage because of that dodge, we'll forget the 453 times that it didn't proc. And that's exactly why recency bias is played into that. But a more important factor that we can push in is essentially selective memory. Now, selective memory uh, essentially refers to the psychological notion of confirmation bias. So confirmation bias is essentially the ability for people to recall certain information in a way to support their belief. Whenever you argue with someone or someone wants to argue for three dodge, they will generally bring out the fact that it has assisted them in completing a stage. Because in that instance they did not quantify what the additional attack and defense raising or the additional attack and defense lowering or attack lowering, whatever the alternative options were, cannot be quantified in that instance. That's why you have to refer to maths, because you cannot equate separate instances. If I succeed a stage because I successfully got a 3 dodge of a super attack that had a 1.05% chance of occurring, I will remember that and I will evaluate that. But we cannot factor that in when we then compare as to me completing that stage earlier because I got multiple additional supers that crit it. Those are things you cannot quantify because you are using the power of confirmation bias to affirm whatever notion you are supporting. Ultimately, at the end of the day, I only want people to choose what's best for their units. And I just want to mention certain instances where you should not choose three dodge. So in any case where units gain benefits from being hit, you realistically should not choose three dodge. Raccoon, Frieza, units like Super Saiyan Goku, both Frieza and Goku fire additional attacks based on being hit before they super. If you give them three dodge, the chances are they could possibly dodge the attack and that will reduce their efficiency. It is literally a detrimental build to occur on those units. Similarly, units like Raccoon or the original strength Planet Namek Saga Goku both get additional attack and defense upon being hit. Again, by giving them evasion, you are effectively reducing their curve and preventing them from hitting full usability. And it's things like this that I just want to point out. It's not anything else. Uh, like I said, if you want to stick 3 dodge on your units, you are fine to do so. But you should never stick 3 dodge on a unit when it is going to be detrimental to that unit's performance. And that is pretty much the only point I want to make in this video. So when you are building your units, please make sure that when you choose that 3 dodge, you are not reducing the effectiveness of your unit. And once you have evaluated that, then you are welcome to make whatever decisions you see fit. If you want to go for more crit, you can. If you want to go for more additional, you can. I'm not concerned, and I don't think people should be concerned with meeting the exact mathematical quota that is designed by an APT guide or by maths performed on the internet. There's no real point to. The maths is interesting, but it doesn't or shouldn't, I say, well, I should. I should say shouldn't determine exactly what you do with your units as long as what you do gets you the victory then I think it's all necessarily quite fine 
But I think when you do these things and they detract from the performance of a unit like in the in the case of Frieza and Goku, I think it's necessarily not the best decision. Simply just because it gives you a lesser opinion of that unit and I think that's something that's just not good. Uh, beyond that, I think every decision is your own and I've sometimes preferred having more additional because I enjoy units proccing lower attack and defense in things like SBR and ESBR, uh, all those sort of things you know, are perfectly acceptable. Like I say, the, the problem is not those type of decisions, as long as you are making decisions that do not detriment your unit. You know, I would say the same, if uh, for example a unit said uh, whenever this unit dodges it gains uh, critical hits and 400,000 attack and defense. Uh, then, yeah, it's probably best to build that unit full of Asian and give it a 20% chance of attack and defense. If that's its only passive, if that's all the unit does, then be my guest. Do that. Build into that. And that's an extreme example, but it's just to give you an example of how it's not so much the build. It's not favoring crit or additional. It's just that those are more useful usually and conducive to showing the best performance of a unit and with the current meta of content being aimed at large damage reduction and at high amounts of health on enemy units having the ability to fire additional super attacks having the ability to crit and having them in larger quantities is much more evaluated but again the maths does prove that there is more efficacy and more efficiency in dodge the more attacks and the higher damage an attack's going to do. If we were to change that damage from 120,000 and simply change it to 240,000, the effective defense that you would gain from a dodge is now 14,700, 14, which is way more than the 8,000 you would gain from an additional attack. Obviously, that's just scaling in mathematics due to the amount of damage. And that's why I highlight that you can't use maths to perfectly evaluate all of these situations. Otherwise, you have to apply it to every unit, and that's where it comes to being too nitty-gritty. But for me, 3 dodge is a concept that I just think is a waste of time. And rather, if you're going to do 3 dodge, rather do it with equipment. If you want to do 3 dodge, rather place three dodge in any slot with your equipment not only can you then correct it if you want to but it does not affect you when you pull in your dupes use your dupes rather for crit and additional and if you feel like you need dodge on a unit or you want to give every unit dodge just add it with the gear system adding it with the gear system is safer it allows you the ability to change if you do not vibe with that build if a unit gets an easy A. And that easy A essentially makes it no longer require the dodge at all. Then you can remove it as well. And with the EX orbs coming out, with chain battles, with different types of gear events coming out all over the place, it's no longer... You know, it, I'm sure most people probably have a large quantity of dodge gear that's probably even higher than 3 dodge. If you really want to fill in a slot with exactly 3 dodge, you're welcome to, but you could fill in a gear slot with 5 dodge, with 2 dodge, with 1 dodge. If you want to argue for the sake of 3 dodge, giving a unit 1 dodge is essentially the exact same thing. You want to have the possibility of that low chance of dodge occurring. There is no negativity in making it 1% compared as to 3. So. From my angle, I personally just think leave it out of your hidden potential system. It's a meme. I know people think it helps. You're welcome to do that if it helps you. And if it has helped you and your recency bias or your confirmation bias is asserting that, then that's also fine. But rather just leave it to gear. If you want to do it and you feel like you have to do it, that's more than fine. Just rather leave it to gear. That way you can change it later on if you want. You can not change it later on, you can remove it, you can put it back in. If you leave it to gear, you can change those factors of your units, especially something that essentially is a choice, up to yourself. But that's going to be it from me, guys. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.